Hundreds of racehorses are ending up at abattoirs each year, according to a two-year undercover investigation by the ABC. The report concentrates on New South Wales and Queensland, where Racing Minister Sterling Hinchcliffe announced biosecurity officers are investigating allegations of animal cruelty. It's heartbreaking footage and a disturbing story. According to the ABC's 7.30 report, a Queensland slaughterhouse killed up to 300 racehorses in 22 days. It also alleges thoroughbred horses are being beaten and shocked with electric prods at abattoirs in New South Wales and Queensland. This is of real concern. Australians quite rightly care about the welfare of animals and any uh, abuse uh, needs to be properly investigated and action taken. The story also claims the horses are being used for pet food and human consumption, a practice which goes against racing New South Wales' legislation, which states all retired racehorses should be rehomed. We spend over $2.5 million a year rehoming horses, and as you correctly point out, Alan, there's no people that look after their animals better than what the, what the uh, yeah. thoroughbred people do. Racing Victoria already had plans to audit horses which haven't been raced over the past 18 months. In a statement, Racing Victoria's CEO said, we are sickened by the horrific images that we saw on ABC 730 report. But he admitted once a horse is retired from racing, it leaves our jurisdiction and the scope of the national rules of racing. With uh, greyhounds, we track them throughout their life. Uh, perhaps it's time that we looked at expanding that sort of an approach to racehorses. Emily Evans, Sky News.